One of the scariest times on set, uh, me, Melvin, and Cinqua were on the side of the road of the suburban cul-de-sac oh we were shooting yes. at. We were lifting weights, you know, just getting pumped for the next scene. And uh, security for the movie came by and told us that somebody next door was going to call the police on us because they didn't know what we were doing. I mean, it's so fun, but then it takes itself just serious enough for everything to actually have dramatic weight when it want, like when it needs to. So good. I can't wait to watch it again with like a real crowd. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's how you're supposed to see it, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the, did you know that you had something magic on your hands based on just the script or while you were shooting? Or were you like, I wonder how this is going to look when it's all done? That's an emphatic yes. Um, I personally, I no. Like I, people kept telling me like Tracy and we have this joke because from the beginning she was like, this is going to be a hit. And I was like, well, I'm just like generally don't have that much optimism in the world. Um, so I was like, it's going to be a movie. I know that. Gonna film it. Uh, <laughs> but as time has gone on, I'm now convinced. I'm like, oh, I see it. And I see now what people have seen the whole time. So I'm now on board. But I feel like I was too nervous, like in the process to really like, because I didn't want to jinx it. I was just like, I just want to do what it does and it will be what it's going to be. But now I'm like, oh yeah, she's a hit. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm the same way. I share the same sentiment. Like, I don't believe it till it's actually released and people sit in the theaters and go see it. Like, I won't, I hold it all in until release day. So I, I definitely, yeah. yeah, I feel you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I did. I I, I mean, the, the, um, the chemistry that we had and the ways in which we were playing so much and were so free and were so kind and tagging on everybody's jokes and how collaborative Tim was, I was like, this is such a space that's so safe and so sacred. We are just so free to do whatever the fuck we want to do. Mm -hmm. And I think it resonates on camera because every interview we've had, they always ask, it looks like you guys had so much fun making it. And so I, I knew, and it was something special. And I don't always know. This is not like something that I feel every time I do something, but I knew that this would be the first of its kind for sure. The first table read was fire. Uh, I knew. Yeah. yeah. It was great. Melvin fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then I started Googling them and I was like, oh, he got two kids. That's what's up. I get it. I get it. No, he had one. Yeah. He had one. No, Melvin doesn't have a secret baby. <laughs> can't him out. So, so it's, it's, a, it's a, a comedy, but it's nighttime. You're, you're, you've got guys in leather gimp masks. You've got crossbows going off. Honey. You've got presumably ice cold water. Yes. <laughs> and you've got, uh, you know, the whole thing is in a big, scary, haunted house. Yeah. Did you ever get, like, the willies? Oh, man. There What's some, the willies? Uh, scared. Like oh. on set because we were like in that secluded area. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, honestly, there were some times where it got real eerie, you know, at 3 a.m., just kind of being out there alone and stuff. Well, yeah. you forget that you're shooting a scary movie like a horror until you see the day out of days and you see the night shoots. And then, Tim, I remember there's one scene where we see the killer and I was like running to it because like Tim was like, you got to run and shut the door. And he came over. He said, you're in a horror. You mm -hmm. have to scream. Mm -hmm. And I was like so tired. Yeah. And this was like the day after the leg. So I was like, oh, right. Yeah, I'm supposed to scream. So I think you don't realize that um, while you're doing it until like the director's like, hey, don't forget you're in a, a fucking horror. Like yeah. you have to run at a certain rate. You have to scream. Dream, your body has to shiver like you have to really be in it yes and i think that experience is it tricks your brain like you can't like you're telling your body like we're in fight or flight and your body is like okay and your body doesn't know like this is fake so like trying to just like make to make it real and authentic you have to kind of like feel the real fear and at times when we're being chased by a man with a crossbow i'm like oh yeah it, this is scary because we're still running from this man <laughs> In real life. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a real crossbow. Yeah. And our first week of shooting, me, Mel, and Gracie, we were um, in the woods. And I remember Dwayne, he was shadowing Tim. And we were there at night. So first week, straight out the gate, me, Mel, and Gracie were in the shit. It was like mm. 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. And that first week was the lake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of the scariest times on set, uh, me, Melvin, and St. Croix were on the side of the road of the suburban cul-de-sac oh we were shooting yes. at. We were lifting weights, you know, just getting pumped for the next scene. And uh, security for the movie came by and told us that 
somebody next door was going to call the police on us because they didn't know what we were doing. We were just doing Rough Rider workouts on the road. They actually just saw three black men <laughs> be pumping, pumping iron. And they pumping. were like, they're like, they're pumping iron to rob the whole block. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And they're going to see the movie at some point and go, oh, yeah. boy. Yeah, like, and Jermaine oh. is so small. Like, you're not small. You big daddy. No, but just... you, but he's short. So it's just like, you know, you. It, what is he going to do? You know? Well, that's a threat. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you challenge me right now. I'll do something. No. This is I'll the, cut this, you. This is the origin story of <laughs> my Jermaine villainous story. <laughs> you want to call me small? They're going to okay. pinpoint it back at this interview. Yeah. <laughs> that's when it started. He, that's he when it started. He snapped mm-hmm. right there. Yeah, that was the turning point. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. You too. I appreciate it. And I love the movie. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Bye. Bye.